The sharing of information between community information centers holds great value, especially in an area like York Region that is so um, vast. And relatively speaking, each information center is in a very small municipality and we tend to work in isolation. Often you will find something at another center that has a little bit more information or slightly different information, maybe something a little more current. So if we all have a way to contact each other and remember that there's other people out there doing the same work as we are, our, the information we're giving has much more value. The other players that I want to work with more directly over time is other information referral service providers who provide information more broadly in the community. Uh, there is uh, always a danger of a disconnect with people starting from scratch when they don't need to. We created three resources. The first one was the directory, and the directory was about providing information for all newcomer service providers in, concentrated in one place so that they wouldn't have to go to Google and look for individual information. It would all be in one directory. I think that there is a great value to local resources as opposed to just um, things from a broader area. So what this project has done is created a tool that can be used by uh, not only the organizations who are working with the population it's directed towards, but information and referral uh, staff like myself. Settlement agency um, staff and, and leaders are telling me that we want there to be a coordinated, integrated um, approach to how this, this resource is not just maintained, but seen as a core part of the infrastructure of the community. Well, my key experience in this process was that I, I realized a large number of organizations already had settlement services in place. And for the ones that didn't, it gave them an opportunity to realize that there is a need in their community. The cultural associations seem to provide more than just recreational activities. Uh, they also provided information and referral services. They provided welcome, welcoming services. So mediated support is important, whether that is uh, a settlement service provider, an information referral counselor in an official role, or whether that's somebody who is at the school or the community center and they're providing reception and somebody comes in with a question. The more anybody that has information, needs information, supports others in using information, the more that we can contribute our piece to the overall part, I think we will have a dynamite system. The second resource was the Collaboration Forum website. It would provide an area that they could get on and post events. They could upload information about uh, files, uh, upload files that would provide information, as well as um, being a way of opening their offices their own Bibles, that they could provide that individual information to other people seeking it and needing it for their own uses. I think the Collaboration Forum is an excellent tool. Um, in the past, there were breakfast meetings and networking sessions that people maybe had a bit more time to attend. It meant driving somewhere and setting aside your work. We'll also be just keeping in touch uh, with all these organizations via their website, social media, and making sure to connect when we hear about new programs or services that might be of interest to the directory. So something that service providers have identified that it's hard to know, so um, especially as that changes or programs change uh, along with funding. So. Part of the third resource was going out and actually showing them these resources so that they would be able to know about it, use it, spread the word among their own um, people in their organization within the agencies that uh, this resource is there for them to use so that they can service their clients more effectively. I think one of the most important things about communicating and having ongoing regular contact is a continual reality check. Just because we have it doesn't mean people know it's there or know how to use it. But the types of things I'd like to do more of 
is to continue the training that we're doing in agencies so that frontline service providers and volunteers will be able to know how to use this tool and work with it to create resources that are more tailored to them. And we're going to keep um, having ongoing feedback from any training sessions that we do uh, related to the directory. So we've started uh, showing the directory and um, working with some of the staff in different agencies. Um, so we'll be uh, whatever questions we're hearing from them or gaps in services or information, we'll be working uh, with our information to try to add to it and really try to meet all those needs that are identified that we're hearing from agencies and service providers. Well, I felt that it was very impactful in the sense that never has another database been created for the express purpose of settlement provider needs. And what that does is it, like I said before, it concentrates information in one area that they could go specifically to look for information on housing, on jobs, on uh, financial support, whatever an immigrant needs in order to settle, it's all in that one area. Certainly collaboration and partnership is extremely important in terms of continuing this on. So most of what we do is all in the interest of good quality information and good collaboration with the local players.